All right, next up, let's welcome Dr. Pamela Holman of Hartford, South Dakota. Dr. Pamela Holman has been a lifelong educator and one of the most effective and innovative administrators in K-12 public education that the state has ever known. She has exercised enormous influence on education policy at the local and state levels by focusing on students, technology integration, and strategic community partnerships. Dr. Homan's passion for children with learning and behavioral disabilities has been steadfast, beginning as a special education teacher in the classroom, which then developed into a hospital-based school program for children in need of psychiatric acute care. Dr. Homan earned advanced degrees in educational administration, and she served as an elementary school principal and director of assessment, technology, and information services before becoming the first woman to serve as superintendent of the Sioux Falls School District. I am truly honored to be a part of the South Dakota Hall of Fame, and congratulations to each of the current and past inductees. I'm sincerely grateful for what you've done for the children, the people, and the families of South Dakota. It wasn't until I was 45 years old that I fully understood my drive to give back and serve, my relentless nature to never shy away from risk, my love of innovation, and perhaps why I have often been described as one who drives 90 miles per hour in a 25 mile per hour zone. Now, my grandchildren sitting over there will probably be the first to tell you that this has more than a figurative meaning. Nana is never late in getting them anywhere. Each day is a gift, and no time should be wasted. I remember the day I opened a letter in June 2004, inviting me to a gathering of the world's authorities to celebrate the surviving medical icons the patient pioneers of the past. It was then I realized the full magnitude of the extended gift of life given me by my courageous parents and two brilliant doctors. I learned I was one of the patient pioneers, and I never imagined I was in the category of surviving medical icon. Over 60 years ago, my parents sacrificed what very little they had that I might be accepted as one of the first to participate in open heart surgery using cross circulation. And they trusted in the University of Minnesota's doctors, Lily High and Varco's belief that their surgical innovation would give me a chance at more than two years of life. Obviously, the innovation worked. You might have wondered why on earth the baby picture I provided for the video was one of me in the hospital bed cuddling a stuffed animal. Well, now you know. For the first two years of my life, I viewed the world through the slats of a hospital crib. Each day is a gift. I was given a lifetime of opportunity to serve others, and no day should be wasted and my tolerance for passively viewing the world expired as a toddler. I live with a drive to make things happen, to be bold, to take risk, and to make things better for others. My parents modeled for me, where there is a will, there is always a way. Neither of my parents had a high school education. Both of my parents knew what it meant to worry about from where their next meal would come. Both of my parents wanted their children to have what they did not, an education. My mother's goals were to have a family, see that our children had unlimited meals and clean clothes, that we would always help others who had even less than we did, that we would go to church and we would attend catechism. She achieved her goals. My mother died when she was 43 years old. My dad always reminded me that with courage and determination, 
I would achieve all that is worthy in life. He never judged what I did. However, he taught me to be my own judge. He taught me I was in charge of my own destiny and that when the road becomes tough, I could either stand up to face the challenge or I could turn away. And if I chose to turn away, he reminded me that my goals would be left far behind. My dad modeled for me sacrifice and hard work. He modeled insight and wisdom. He reminded me to never forget the humble beginnings from which I came. In 1978 at Augustana, I was blessed with meeting Tim. Since that time, he has been the calm behind me and truly my source of encouragement. And Tim truly demonstrates more patience than anyone else on earth tolerating my determined, tenacious nature. <laughs> Together we celebrate our adult children, Phoenicia, Felix, Betsy, and our son-in-law, Matt. We celebrate our grandchildren, Naomi, Elliot, Maya, Riker, and Elijah. Throughout my professional career, I have been surrounded by legends, legends who have guided me, lifted me, and believed with me that not every child learns in the same way, at the same time, or in the same place. I was blessed to work around the clock with extraordinary leaders in the Sioux Falls School District in South Dakota, and I thrived on serving with national think tanks with leaders across this country. Countless children have benefited because of the hard work and dedication of hundreds of teachers in South Dakota. And given the trust and the support to create new programs, new models, and new schools by school board members who gave of themselves and their time to serve, multiple innovations were put in place to serve children. When after a 35-year career in K-12 education, I decided I should graduate and go on to higher education I was energized by the opportunity to return to my alma mater, Augustana University. Each day, I am thankful for the determination, the compassion, and the drive of our leadership team at Augustana, as well as the leadership and the commitment of the higher education institutes across the state, the commitment to successfully navigate the complex challenges of today's society a really testimony, the future that we see and have today will even be better than can be imagined for our children, our grandchildren, and the generations who come after us. We must always, always dream and embrace and know that each day is a new opportunity. South Dakota is a very special place, and it is with a grateful heart I am deeply honored to be inducted into the South Dakota Hall of Fame. Thank you so much, Dr. Homan.